Hi, welcome to Comart Computers of Private Limited, Azure Public Cloud Training. So in this training, uh, we'll be uh, understanding how to uh, configure and manage the uh, Azure Cloud infrastructure. So the training will be starting with uh, a scratch so that uh, anyone who is uh, new to the cloud environment, even they can understand and they can manage the cloud infrastructure. So where we'll be starting from the scratch where we'll be starting with what is cloud computing and from there we will start after understanding about what is cloud computing we'll understand about the uh, types of uh, clouds like a private cloud public cloud and hybrid cloud and also we'll be understanding about the uh, cloud services so there are a lot of services available out of that uh, the major uh, services used by most of the uh, production environment is the uh, infrastructure as a service platform as a service and uh, software as a service so we'll be understanding about these three services and after understanding the uh, cloud services so we'll be getting into the uh, azure uh, uh, modules so where we will be starting with uh, understanding the azure global infrastructure so for any uh, cloud infrastructure professional so they should be very much comfortable and they should have a good understanding about the cloud service providers data centers and their uh, uh, infrastructure so where uh, here we are going to start with uh, the understanding about the global infrastructure of uh, azure so where Azure has uh, many regions and uh, availability zones. So here we'll be understanding what is a region and what is availability zone and how to choose the region and how to choose the availability zone uh, based on your uh, environment's requirement. And also we'll be understanding about the Azure account and its subscription. So based on your organization's requirement, uh, creating a single account with multiple subscription or creating multiple account with multiple subscription so after this understanding you will be able to decide based on your organization's requirement so either go with the multiple account or single account with multiple subscription so you can decide on your own and after uh, understanding about the azure accounts and its subscriptions so we need to understand about the uh, core services of the uh, cloud infrastructure the core services of the cloud infrastructure that is the infrastructure as a service is the uh, compute storage and networking so here we'll be understanding about uh, the cloud computing's uh, core services so initially we'll be understanding about the uh, virtual network uh, of the azure so virtual network is something like your uh, private network inside your LAN network similar like that uh, this virtual network is a, a, a private network inside the cloud so here we'll be understanding what is a vnet what are all the types of vnets available and how to configure this vnet for your organization's requirement so after the understanding of the virtual network we'll also understand about the uh, subnets like uh, how to divide or split the vnet into logical uh, subdivision so there we'll be under understanding what is a subnet and how to configure the subnet how to uh, implement the subnets for your organization's requirement and also we'll be understanding about the network security group so we'll understand what is network security group and how to uh, filter the traffic inbound and outbound uh, for your virtual network and how to uh, configure and how to manage the security of your uh, virtual networks resources so we'll be understanding all these things after understanding the network and uh, we'll be understanding about the Azure virtual machines. So here we'll be understanding what is a virtual machine, what are all the types of virtual machines available and how to choose the virtual machine uh, for your applications requirement. So we'll be understanding all those and also we'll be understanding about the Azure storage. So here we'll be understanding what is storage account or, or how to configure the Azure account uh, and how to configure the Azure storage account for your uh, applications requirement or your uh, projects requirement. And also in practical, we'll be uh, discussing with uh, creating the Azure account and after creating Azure account, we'll create a Azure uh, virtual network and then the network security groups and uh, we'll create the Azure uh, storage account and also we'll create the Azure virtual machines and we'll uh, uh, see how to connect the virtual machines using RDP and also we'll uh, see how to configure the uh, Windows virtual machine as a web server. So where we'll uh, discussing about uh, how to install the IIS role and how to uh, add a new website in IIS and how to configure a network security group to publish the web server in public internet 
and also we'll see how to access the uh, public websites from the public internet and also we'll see how to configure a static IP for the web server after understanding about the web servers and we'll also understand about the availability sets so here we'll understand what is availability set what is whole domain what is update domain and how to uh, configure this av availability set for your applications requirement and also we'll be discussing about the load balancer so initially we'll understand what is load balancer how the load balancer works and also we'll understand how this load balancer can be configured for your organization's requirement and uh, after understanding the uh, load balancer we'll see how to configure the load balancer for uh, windows web servers and uh, we'll see how to configure the load balancer backend pool how to configure the load balancer head probe load balancer rule and uh, the um, uh, uh, we'll also test finally how the uh, load balancer is working and also once again we'll be uh, discussing about the azure storage so here we'll be uh, understanding about the azure blob storage and we'll be understanding the types of blob storage and also we'll understand the storage replication and in practical we'll see how to create the storage account how to create the storage containers and how to attach an additional data disk for the existing virtual machine and uh, ad uh, and also we'll see how to attach an existing uh, vhd to the uh, existing virtual machine and even uh, we'll also see how to upload an on-premises vhd to the azure storage account and how to attach the uploaded vhd to the uh, virtual machines so we'll see all these things in practical and also we'll uh, discuss about the azure file services so here we'll see how to create a file share and how to add files and folders to the file shares and how to access the file shares from the virtual machines and even we'll uh, understand what is a shared access signature and how to create the shared access signature and how to use this shared access signature to access the storage account and even we'll also discuss how to access the azure storage account using storage explorer and again we'll be discussing about the azure recovery service vault azure recovery service vault is nothing but a backup solution so here we'll discuss how this recovery service vault works and how to back up the on-premises resources to the recovery vault even how to back up the azure resources to the recovery vault so we'll be discussing everything in practical so we'll uh, see how to create the recovery service vault how to prepare the infrastructure for the backup and how to install and register mass agent in on-premises uh, targets and also we'll see how to schedule the backup using mass agent and how to take a one-time backup and how to restore the backup and uh, even uh, if you are not uh, uh, going to have the backup forever and how to delete the backup uh, from the recovery vault so all these things we'll be discussing and also we'll be discussing about the azure app services so in this we'll uh, see how to create app service and how to create app service plan and how to create and host uh, azure websites and also we'll discuss uh, how to manage the custom domains and how to create and manage the deployment slots and also we'll discuss how to scale up and scale down and even how to manage the auto scaling and also we'll be discussing about the sql uh, servers in azure so which is actually a platform as a service solution so here we'll be discussing how to create azure sql server and how to create a, a sql database in azure sql server and also we'll be discussing how to configure the firewall settings and also we'll uh, uh, check how to connect the uh, sql database using uh, um, sql uh, uh, management studio and finally we'll be discussing about the azure active directory so here uh, we will initially understand what is Azure Active Directory and the features of the Azure Active Directory and uh, in practical we will see how to create the custom domain and how to verify the custom domain, how to create uh, users and groups in Azure Active Directory and how to publish uh, enterprise applications to the, to the users and groups and also we'll be uh, understanding about the azure ad premium so we'll be discussing the features of azure ad premium and how to configure the azure ad premium license and how to configure the 
multi-factor authentication and how to define conditions for the multi-factor authentication and also we'll be discussing uh, how to configure the self-service password reset and the authentication methods for self-service password reset and even we'll also uh, discuss how to integrate on-premises active directory with azure active directory uh, how to uh, configure azure uh, ad connect so using azure ad connect how to uh, synchronize the on-prem active directory with azure active directory so we'll discuss all these things in practical and uh, that's all uh, the topics which we are going to discuss in azure active directory and enjoy learning with common thank you